guys what's going on welcome back to day two out on the boat Devin is parking the truck man we have just launched at a lake we have never fished before it's gonna be a ton of fun you guys tag along about 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, this is the north side of the lake and the wind is blowing in from the north. So it's a little bit calmer over here and then we're gonna make our way kind of get into the deeper waters. This is the first time that we've ever been to this lake. So it's gonna take a little bit of time probably to get it dialed in, figured out, but stick along for the ride. And let's see what we can't catch. That wind's gonna blow us pretty quick. We should probably just get closer and flip it. There we go. First one, first one on the baby hog. Yes, that was only minutes in guys, just flipping the uh, reeds right here as Devin said, and uh, we nailed them. Baby hog, do 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 That's a baby fish, hopefully we get something bigger. Sweet, one and done boys. That was, uh, was fast, I'm having fun. Second outing on the old boat, and we managed to get Devin off the ramp really quickly, which was nice. Gotcha. That was a hook set. Wow. <laughs> uh, he's in the grass. Come on, come on. You got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, God. I don't know. Yeah, dang it. I thought it, he was on. He wasn't. He was probably like a couple pounds. All right, I think we're going to head back out to the uh, main lake. Uh, it was a cool idea. It's super clear in here, super cool. Looked promising, but don't think there's all that many fish back up in here. So we're going to head on out to the windy side. Oh, God. There we go. T-Rig over here. Ooh, that's a good one, too. That's a nice one. All right, a couple pounds. Biggest bass on the boat. And I got to get us out of here. Texas rigged crawl, man. Sick. Biggest bass on the boat. Just came back to a uh, another pocket here. A little crevice. Getting them on the crack and crawl, boys. Feels good. Natural color. Water's just got a slight stain. I don't know how the line went through this claw, but I'm just going to rip that. All right, guys. Check us out. Biggest bass in the boat, man. That's not saying too much, but we're going to go ahead and grab some more, though. You guys, crawls might be the way to go. That baby trench hog hit first. They like that flutter. They're sitting a few feet out from the reeds today is what I've identified. Let's see if we can't get some more. We're also in a froggy zone, man. This is looking pretty good. Let me get on the motor before we hit all this crap. Quick lunch break, y'all. It is nice, quite nice out. 11 15 a.m., 75 degrees, chilling. Oh, god damn it. Oh, okay, good time to try and grab something out of my pocket. Oh, <laughs> golly, all right, we made the right move. Man, we just worked our way across this thing with the trolling motor. That is fish number three for us, man. We've been out here for a little while, but I'll tell you what, they are really digging the Texas rig. We've thrown so much stuff and we see a lot of people kind of moving off to the side into the reeds just because uh, it seems to be what's working. So they've either identified that themselves or they're starting to key in. So here we go, guys. Super sick, man. Let's get some more. <laughs> It's not. Uh, all right. <laughs> it's not the biggest. You want me to loosen that lineup? A little bit, please. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. All right, guys. First fish on the boat for me. Did it on that Texas rigged bandito bug, natural. Uh, Weston's been catching all the fish, and I don't know. I've just been slacking, I guess, watching him. And so I was like, damn it, it's my turn. It's my turn to catch fish. The first one on the boat for me. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy back in the water. 
okay. Uh, we're starting to kind of figure them out. Uh, we've, like Wesson said, we've been throwing really a lot of different things, flukes, swim jigs, uh, frogs, and the ones that we've been able to link up with have definitely been over here in these reeds. So we're gonna go with what we know and cast in the reeds and get them. Hold on, I gotta record. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting here talking to Weston, didn't start my GoPro, and then I, I don't, I see my line just swimming straight under the boat, didn't even hear any pops, or didn't even feel any pops. He bit under the boat? Pretty close. Well, I don't know. I think he bit it and was swimming under the boat. Okay. Yeah. This wind is like, it's tough to feel, huh? Yeah, a little bit. But that should settle it. This uh, Dito bug might be a little Ditoed out. There we go. Little feisty guy. All right. Bye, bud. y'all we fished deep for a little bit but we're gonna go ahead and uh, hop back up to the reed line see if we can't get a few more fish for you guys and then uh, yeah man it's 12 51 in the afternoon let's get some more fish all right guys so here's a situation the bite has died down since the morning we have been hitting them up on the craws they have shifted away from that and instead of trying to work deep like we've seen so many people do today or try and switch things up drastically here we're thinking about making a move so we're going to go ahead load this thing up on the trailer get some more time in on the boat on this beautiful afternoon what is it sunday the 17th who knows on quarantine man it's tough to say but stick around man because we want to catch some more fish we're going to go hit another spot like we say let's load this puppy up and we'll catch you at the next spot all right man hoodie's off Woo! ac feels so good Ritz tastes so good and we are on our way to the next location boys stay tuned all right man we are here y'all might remember this spot I fished it with uh, Kendrick and Perrick in the past check her out man she's looking pretty windy out here we about to see what's up all right let's get the plug in here take this bad boy off Well, it should be kind of easy whenever we're loading it because the wind's like gonna, yeah gonna be helping gonna us be blowing <laughs> technically helping us <laughs> you're good whenever you want more to the right you're good though slow and steady let me unstrap it okay just come on back that's good i think i'm in just got a little close <laughs> we are in the water that was sketchy all right Okay. Oh, just got hit. Just had one. Just had one. I think that could be the money out here. Oh, God. Okay. That's big bass. Okay. Oh, I had him. Uh, Texas rig. Oh, my God. Come here. Why are you down there? Oh my God. Well guys, I just got my first one off camera, but at least Devin was filming. Oh, there we go. I think, uh, little guy, I guess. I think I'm filming though. <laughs> That'll do. Another little one on the crankbait. I'll be back in the water, bud. Thanks for playing. Looking for something a little bigger. I know they're here. I'm thinking if you want to tie on another crankbait, it might be the best the best move for this place. And keep on the Texas rig, but. Oh, there we go. All right. They're chasing the crankbait. You want those for a minute? No, no. Switch off. No, you're on too. Oh, okay. Oh, he came off. Almost had our first double up. We did almost have our first boat double up. I'm slacking over here on the stats. All right, sorry about that, buddy. We'll get you back in the water. Grow up to be big and strong. Yeah, this looks real Texas rigy, but I got something chasing it. He bit it, but he didn't. Dang it. Texas rig. Oh, gotcha. Might be a little bigger. He's okay. He's okay. They're all skinny over here. Oh, and they all flop off the hook. All right, thank you. That's uh, fish number who knows. There we go. That one's bigger. A little bigger. Oh, no, he's not. I just got him on the side. That's why I felt like a fight. Let me get us out of the uh, 
we're in the wind right here all right buddy look at your little black spots <laughs> see ya oh yes you do tell me it's a good one oh 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 <laughs> we're getting on them though <laughs> Well guys, I would say that we're starting to break this new boat in pretty dang good. Uh, second time taking the boat out, third body of water, and uh, pulling in some big old chunks. Just kidding. Nothing of size, it's more so been uh, quantity over quality, I guess. I mean, any fish is fun to catch in my opinion. Go ahead and drop this guy back in. But we're having a really fun time out here. Wanted to give you guys an update on the big camera. The wind seems like it's kind of starting to die down. It's kind of hard to tell. You might have to let us know in the comments. We charged everything fully and we're kind of like, does the trolling motor still have enough juice? I don't know. There's not really a way to tell for that and stuff. So uh, who knows? Maybe in this episode, you'll see us get stranded on our second time taking out the boat. But hopefully that doesn't happen. I also think that fish calls for a good old swig. All right, man, we're all the way to the point, getting some more fish. What we're gonna do is just do that same line again because we're getting bites over here on the far end. Devin is working us on our way to that side of the bank. Let's get some more fish for y'all. Got a fish, got a fish, got a fish. But I gotta get away from that log. Come here, you get away from that log too. <laughs> There's a crankbait. Oh my gosh, oh, it's not even. Yeah, it. <laughs> crankbait and it's a sunfish. That's a big old sunfish at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, he was gonna have some dinner today. Do some gymnastics. Oh. I'll try it for a second. Because it was kicking ass. <laughs> I figured there was one on that little stump right there. <laughs> Alrighty then. Thanks, bud. There's bigs in here, man. We've caught, like, we've caught decent fish out of here. It's just, they're chilling. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, you're best. Hey, you're best. You're not. Oh. Ooh. What'd you do? <laughs> oh, he's down there. Okay, to the island. Got him. Come on up here. Nice little fish out from the island. Could not leave without hitting this spot. We'll see you, bud. Maybe we can get some more in here. I guess like over there, but it's that seems pretty damn sketchy. Alright, Devin's on land, now we're gonna work on getting this thing on the ramp. A little sketchy conditions with the wind. Turning it right, turn it that way. Yes, juice, it'll center itself. Yeah, we need to, uh, we need to back the trailer down more. Go ahead and pull it forward. Now. It's just so windy. We weren't sure how it was going to be with all that rain. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. That worked out pretty well. Got around here, we had to tie the rope over there to the cleat just in case we needed to uh, toss Devin the rope and her re uh, realign me. But Bada bing, bada boom. A little wind. Got her done. <clears throat> Alright y'all, she is draining. Got her tied up. Time for a sandwich, man. Celebration. y'all we're back at the storage unit we are wiping her down we're getting her cleaned off we're plugging her in we're getting her organized because we just threw stuff everywhere today and uh, yeah we're cleaning her off we'll go ahead and catch you guys in just a second all 
right, y'all. She is clean and we are uh, just plugging her in. Devin's putting on the 12 hour timer, so the lights should turn on here in a second. There they are. All three are charging. The green on the right is indicating that it's charging and the three on the left indicate the three batteries. So that's that, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the boat content. Second time taking it out. We had a ton of fun and we'll catch you guys on the next one. You know it's gonna be tomorrow, man. One upload a day. Peace.